Hello, so this is a tutorial for the newfangled alignment tool as seen in the soon to be released laid out version 0.093. So if you select a bunch of images and press A, you go to the alignment tool, which is this thing with the red circle. When it's red, nothing's going on, but if you press inside, it becomes a green circle, and then you'll notice everything has been pulled down to a line. Uh, you can change the orientation of that line like this, just drag around the endpoints, and then once it gets to the line, you can then align it by dragging this bar up and down. Uh, once it's on the line, it doesn't have to uh, stay right where it's pulled down to. You can also distribute it in various ways. So for instance, one way is just the normal uh, align once you get there, uh, or you can also do a proportional align, which is uh, aligning uh, proportionally to, it, to the original position. You can manipulate them uh, individually, or if you hold down shift when both are in proportional mode like this to enter explode mode, so everything will explode right from a central point. Uh, let's see, another way to distribute is uh, a random mode where you have uh, a bounds and then you click on one of these question marks and it'll redistribute in between those bounds. There's also a grid mode where each image center or object center is uh, equidistant from the next one. There's also a gap mode where you can adjust the gaps between images rather than the center positions. If you just drag the gap, it, it'll change every single gap. If you only want to do one gap, then you just uh, press shift and drag back and forth and it only changes that gap. And let's see, uh, so these lines do not have to be horizontal as you saw, but they don't have to be straight either. So if you click on the path, uh, you enter the path editing mode. So you can change that path to uh, any other path you might want. You can still align like that. So like here, it's still just snapping down to that line. So wherever it's intersecting the line, that's where the image goes. But then when you go to grid mode, for instance, uh, you can align and lay out right on that line. There's different ways to uh, rotate the image around too. So right now the images are there or being positioned on it, but they're not rotated. They don't really follow the line. So you can select the visual shift mode to be uh, follow the path, basically. You can still adjust the, the further alignment perpendicular to the path. Uh, so you can do some pretty fancy stuff with that, but sometimes you don't want to do fancy stuff. You want to do simple things like just aligning everything to the center. In that case, you hold down control and this, this thing comes up and you can uh, do center vertically and horizontally, or you can center everything uh, along a vertical line and then align all the bottoms or align all the tops or just uh, snap everything to a horizontal line, but leave their vertical positions the same or, or just various other stuff and including a shortcut to go to a circle. So uh, if you wanna scale that, you have to enter circle mode and then scale the, the circle up. Once you have a circle, one thing becomes pretty apparent. Right now, all the image tops are pointing toward the center of the circle, but sometimes that's not what you want. So in that case, there's this sliver here, so you can drag hold of that and apply additional rotation. And if you hold down shift while you're dragging, it snaps to uh, 0, 90, 180 degrees like that. Uh, and you can do that no matter if it's, you can apply that additional rotation no matter if it's aligning to the path or if it's just the normal uh, no shifting way. And that's, that's it for my summary of the new alignment tool. Uh, thank you for watching.